folks in the Election Commission office expected the first two days of early voting to be heavier, but it wasn't. However, Ann Ayers Colvin is the Administrator of Elections and tells WLAF that voter turnout has been good, counting nursing home votes, mail-ins, and military votes, along with walk-ins at Jacksboro and the Jellicoe polls, 399 people have voted so far. Republican voters have doubled up Democrats through the first two days, with 234 votes being cast in the Republican primary, compared to 108 for Democrats, leaving 57 voters who only voted in the county's general election. We'll pass along today's totals uh, along to you again tomorrow. Early voting begins at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning at the Election Commission office in Jacksboro and runs through 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Jellicoe polling hours at City Hall run from 9 to 2. Early voting dates are July 13th through the 28th. WLAF brings you complete election return coverage right here on August 2nd. The person behind 1450WLAF.com celebrates a birthday today. You may remember Frank Payne from his days on 1450WLAF radio back in the 60s or perhaps know his work better here on Campbell County's favorite web channel. Happy birthday, Frank. See Channel 12 right here from anywhere. Just a click on the green screen link over there to your left. See it? Yep, that's where to connect to see WLAF TV 12 anytime, anywhere. You've been asking, we've been saying, saying we'd bring you Channel 12 right here. Well, here it is. It's still a work in progress, though, so please be patient with us. The County Commission meets in its regular monthly meeting this evening, beginning at 6 o'clock. We'll have the story for you right here tomorrow. And, well, you might want to take cover as you read Boomer's latest trade. It's over there, over there on Boomer's Corner. He's insulted about all of us. However, if he left you out, he'll probably get you next week. Enjoy it. And that's our news for this Monday. Stay tuned. We'll be back with a press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department. And it's time now to take a look at the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department. 24 people have been booked into the jail in the past 24 hours. Amber M. Bailey, 26, of Robbins Road, La Follette, for theft of property under $500. Beth Ann Caldwell, age 33, of Roach Lane in Jacksboro, for domestic violence by assault. 51-year-old Lonnie Ellison of North Massachusetts Avenue, La Follette, for rape of a child, aggravated sexual battery, especially aggravated exploration of a minor, and sexual exploitation of a minor. Jason Michael Fraley, age 40, of Country Club Road, La Follette, on a revoked warrant. Matthew Scott Goins, 24, of Landmark Road, Jacksboro, driving while revoked, possession of a Schedule II controlled substance, and possession of drug paraphernalia. 48-year-old Kevin Scott Green, of Low Lane in Caraville, for possession of drug paraphernalia and initiation of procedure intended to manufacture meth. 30-year-old Charles Adam Gross, of West Iron Street, La Follette, for violation of probation. Michael Lee Alcox, 32, of Oak Grove Road, Lake City, on a capious bench warrant. Dorman Hatfield, 47, of Hickory Hill Circle and Duff, second offense DUI, driving while revoked, and violation of probation. 26-year-old Jennifer R. Hoskins, of Bolton Lane in Jacksboro, for aggravated burglary 
and theft of property between $1,000 and $9,999. Mary Ann Irvin, 62, of Carview Lane and Speedwell, for assault on a police officer. 57-year-old Henry J. Lawson of H.D. Lawson Road in Williamsburg, Kentucky, entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. Michael W. Marlowe, 39, of South Main Avenue in Jellicoe, on an attachment for child support, and he was held for another agency and charged also with domestic violence by assault, resisting arrest, and two counts for resale. Adam Corey Piles, age 20, of West Myers Street in Jacksboro for driving while revoked, following too closely violation of the Tennessee financial law and violation of the registration law. 55-year-old Mary Ann Rains of Shelby Street in Lake City for failure to appear. Stephanie Ann Rains, 32, of Old Bryant Lane in Lake City for failure to appear. 51-year-old Marjorie Terry Rutherford of East Ash Street, La Follette, on a capious bench warrant. Mark Tackett, age 50, of Cherry Bottom Road, Caravel, for theft of property, under $500. 27-year-old Lyle Jerry Thompson of Gray, Kentucky, for DUI, violation of the implied consent law, reckless endangerment, and evading arrest. Nathan R. Vineyard, 27, of Cooper Street in Knoxville, entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. 33-year-old Casey Deshay Walden of Queener Road in Jacksboro for theft of property under $500, aggravated burglary, and giving false information to an officer. Stephanie Ann Ward, 26, of Queener Road, Jacksboro, for public intoxication, giving false information to an officer, an introduction of contraband into a penal institution, criminal impersonation, resisting arrest, possession of a Schedule II controlled substance, aggravated burglary, and on a capious bench warrant. And last on our report today, 38-year-old Thomas Jean Wright of Coal Creek Lane in Lake City for felony theft of property between $1,000 and $9,999, theft of property between $10,000 and $59,999, theft of property under $500, vandalism over $1,000, violation of the registration law, reckless driving, driving while revoked or suspended, fifth offense, violation of the Tennessee financial law, felony aggravated kidnapping, speeding, DUI, violation of the implied consent law, resisting a stop frisk halt search order, evading arrest, leaving the scene of an accident, failure to report an accident, and failure to stop. And that's a look at the news and the press release for this Monday. Thank you for joining us. Stay right here. Got a lot more coming your way. Good evening, and thank you for tuning in to WLAF News at 530. I'm Lori Leach. It's time now to announce birthdays and anniversaries for this Monday afternoon. It's all brought to you by Eastside Pizza and Deli, located in the Food Line Shopping Center. We would like to wish a very happy birthday to the people who celebrated their birthdays on Saturday. And those were Bobby Joe Frazier, Michael Todd, who's celebrating his 12th birthday, and Judy Jackson, and Tanner Rutherford, who celebrated his 19th birthday, all on Saturday. And on Sunday, Thelma Queener celebrated her 99th birthday, and Tyler Aislinger also celebrated his birthday. And today, Doug Clem, Frank Payne, Margie Walden, LaFell Goins, Randy Cole, Opal, and, and Opal Jenkins celebrated their birthdays. And everybody I just mentioned is now qualified to win a dinner for two from Eastside Pizza and Deli. Now, we usually mention anniversaries too, but no one is celebrating a wedding anniversary today. 
Let us know who's celebrating a birthday or anniversary in your world. Just call us at 562-1450. That's it for birthdays and anniversaries. Thanks for joining us this evening. We invite you to stay tuned. Your news continues after this.